Hey, Donovan. So looking back on it, what do you think the biggest difference was from the first half to second half yesterday? Because obviously the results were so much different. Yeah, really just, um, I would say, getting things going. Um, as the game went on, you know, we we um, we caught some different plays to get our guys in different positions, um, and we were able to make plays. And, um, yeah. Thank, and when you look at this matchup with the Steelers, how important is it to you that you have the chance to knock them out of the playoffs? Well, you know, these last two games for us have been very important to us. Um, like, like we do every week, we focus on us and, you know, how we can improve and how we can execute our plan and um, it's definitely important that this game, you know, there is technically meaning behind this game, even though there's meaning behind all of the games, but um, it, it, it's important. Thanks. Thank you, Scott. Next up, Ashley Bastock. Hey, Donovan. Um, I just wanted to ask about your like developing with Deshaun and everything. And I know you've talked about this before, but the the fact that he he always seems to look for you, even if there's a mistake on a play or um, if something doesn't go right, I guess just how has that like instilled confidence in you as a receiver that he he talks to you through everything and then still looks back to you a lot? Well, yesterday it, it really instills confidence because I know that, you know, even like yesterday, I had the drop. Mm -hmm. um, I really want it that bad. And sometimes you don't know if you will get the ball, you know, after that. But to know that he's coming right back to me the next play shows that, you know, he's not worried about that. Um, and, and that really makes me feel good and, you know, makes me excited too. And I know, like, when he talked about that, like, he he said he knew before the snap that he was going to look to you on that play. I mean, the fact that you guys are in a red zone situation, um, he said he thought that was his best throw of the game, that he's willing to look to you in those situations. Just how much confidence does that give you? It gives me a lot of confidence. Um, any, any Anything we can do to help this team win, you know, we want to do. And we've been working on that play all week, and um, it ended up playing out just how we thought it would be. Thank you, Ashley. We'll go to Cam Justice. Hey, Donovan, that drive specifically, it felt really balanced and one of the most balanced drives that you guys have been able to put together offensively with the run game and getting you guys involved. How did it feel after you were able to score that touchdown and and really see that offense come together in a big picture way? It's good. That's what we that's what we we, we try to do, um, you know, on every drive. We try to march down the field, use our, our balanced attack. And, and score points so it always feels great to do that and when you're looking at it momentum wise it seemed like that that second half was a really big turning point for you guys offensively is that something that you personally believe you can take into next week and even into 2023 yes absolutely um the momentum just continue to <clears throat> do what we have to do do our job like i said earlier execute the, the details on each given play um we know that it's there, so and, and, and just doing it, just like Deshaun says, gives us that confidence to keep going and, you know, use that momentum for next week. Thank you, Cam. Daryl Ryder, you're up. Yeah, Donovan, for the, you know, the last five weeks, you guys had been really working with Deshaun, trying to to really get the, the offense established. Obviously, you guys knew what kind of talent that uh, Deshaun brought to the table What's it do for you guys to finally put that explosive half together where you and, and Deshaun and Amari really take a game over like that? Could you repeat that uh, question one more time? Yeah, um, just, you know, what does it do for you guys as a team after all the work that you've put in in recent weeks to really establish a rhythm with Deshaun to finally get that exciting, explosive half of football where you guys just take over a game the way you expect to? Uh, it builds confidence. It, it, lets, it lets us know that the things that we're doing are right. Uh, we just have to continue to do those at a high level, at a high level. And just for you, could you t talk about your personal growth this year as uh, a reliable go-to uh, receiver and how you have really established yourself? Yeah, really, I'm just trying to take in all of the coaching that I can, um, continuing to do what I have to do. Um, in this offense and on this team to be available and, and make plays when, when my number's called. Thank you, Daryl. Next up, Mary Kay Cabot. Uh, yeah, Donovan, just uh, wondering what you, you know, what you thought of Amari's game yesterday and also knowing that he's going out there each week and playing pretty hurt. 
how inspirational is that to you? And, you know, just kind of what has he meant to your development this season? Uh, Mario had a great game, good, great game yesterday. Uh, very efficient. Uh, like you said, he's playing through some things, shows his toughness, um, shows his <clears throat> dedication to this team, you know, that he's willing to go out there and sacrifice his body when he may not be feeling the, feeling the best. Um, and, you know, he really is an example of how to do it. So I'm very, very proud of Amari and um, great, to, great to play with him. Thank you. Thank you, Mary Kay. Do we have any additional questions for Donovan? Uh, yes, we do. Let's go to Scott Patrick. Donovan, regarding Amari, like, what are a couple of things maybe you've learned about your position just being with him all season long? Well, he's, he's, he's an ultimate pro. He's done this uh, for a while now. He's been at the top of the game for a while now. There's a lot of subtleties and nuances that I'm able to learn from him um, on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, he has so much knowledge, has so much experience, and, you know, he's a very open person, and he's a very cool person to talk to about really any given issue. So it makes it, makes it, makes it fun to be around him. 